so I'm gonna show you guys how to make cake ice cream. <laughs> Homemade. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so what you're gonna need, I look so short, what you're gonna need for cake ice cream is some kind of cake batter and stacks. Just kidding, you don't need stacks. That'd be nasty. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a cup, or like a half a cup of salt. I know it's a lot, but that's how much you need. A fourth cup of sugar, half cup of your cake batter, some milk, ice, um, a Ziploc, like a regular Ziploc, just sandwich baggie, and a gallon size one. What we are going to be doing with this gallon size baggie is open it obviously. You're going to take your ice and you're going to pour it in. You're going to take your salt and dump it in. Okay, now you're going to kind of like try to mix it around a little bit. Now, what we're going to do with this baggie, for the liquid part, if you have a mixer, great. If you don't have a mixer, it's what your hands are for. Mixers are for lazy people. If you don't have a mixer, you're not lazy, like me. <laughs> so we're just going to plug this in here. and. That's so entertaining. All right, so we're just gonna put that over there so it doesn't uh, break anything. We're going to put your milk. In this cup that you mix it in. And then you're gonna take your cake batter we're gonna pour it in. Try to pour it in softly so that it doesn't pop in. We're gonna mix it a little bit with just the cake batter in it. Now, gonna get your sugar and pour it into the mixture. And then grab your machine again. We're not going to be using that machine thingy anymore. We're just. Oh, that smells good. There's our mixture. Perfect. And there's like, there shouldn't be any clumps in it. Hopefully, there's not. Now that we have mixed it, we're going to put our mixture into this baggie. And then, I'm gonna close it. But before you close it all the way, make sure that you try to get all the air out at least as much as possible. Because if you have a whole bunch of air in there, it will turn into like airy ice cream. If you've ever had that, had, had, had that where there's like air bubbles in between your ice cream so you don't get as much ice cream as you paid for, whatever. So there's like barely any air in there, if you can tell. So yeah, there's our mixture. And then now we're gonna grab this little bag of beauty. Um, we're gonna put our mixture for the ice cream inside, like so. And then we're gonna zip this baggie up But before you zip it up all the way, once again, try to get all the air out. Or as much as possible. Whatever. Okay, now I think it's completely sealed. And we should be able to start. So, we have our mixture inside of our baggie, um, our sandwich baggie. And then we have our gallon bag and that has our ice and our salt in it, which is going to make it really cold. And so the way we mix it is 
we're going to flop it back and forth. There's a lot of other techniques for mixing, mixing homemade ice cream and you wanna kinda of mix it until it's like kind of rock hard. Not like rock hard, but pretty hard. Um, or you can like do it like that or like You want to be super careful with it though so that the baggie that's inside of the gallon baggie doesn't rip open. So yeah, I like to use this technique because it's faster, it makes the ice cream into ice cream faster first of all. And I don't know, it's just fun. So yeah, let's get started. I wish I had like a balloon because if I had a balloon, I could like dip it in melted chocolate and then freeze it and then put these, this, the homemade freaking ice cream into a homemade chocolate bowl. That'd be amazing. If you're thinking, oh, that's gonna jack her shoulder up. It doesn't hurt, it really doesn't, so. So this week, or last week was the last week of school. It is Friday night right now for us. It's Friday night. And today was the last day of school for the week. So, which means we made it through a whole week of school. Now we have like 8,000 more to go. Just kidding, I, I'm terrible at math. Anyways, keep going. Oh crap, that's already freaking forming. That's amazing. If it starts to like kind of lay down flat in your bag, you might want to open your bag up and like kind of try to prop it back up because it laying down is not a very good sign. Because, ugh. It could be like dripping out or something like that, so. All right, I think it might be done. When it's done, um, you're just gonna try to like pull it out. Are you ready for this? Go scoop up ice cream Shut into up. the bowl. Careful because there might be a ton of salt in like the creases of the bag. So, it's not rock hard, but you're not gonna get it like the right consistency of ice cream. So, yeah. This is that. All right, now you're gonna, if you want it to taste extra good, take some cool whip. And then you take some chocolate chippies and spread a little. Oh, that looks yummy. Okay, here's the finished product. It looks kind of like juice, but, but that's it's as still good, good as you're gonna get. You want? I guess so. Maybe you want. Yummy. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you have ever made ice cream like this or something like that. Anyways, have a good week, something, whenever you watch this video. Bye.